Hi there, I'm Will Kidd with Seven Seeds Estate Sales. I'm here to give you a video walkthrough of our upcoming May 25th one day blowout asset sale here in the Old Westmoreland area of Knoxville. Now you need to look at our website. There's a page that says how we run sales. Read the section on a blowout sale. We'll start the day. Everything's fixed price in the morning. We get a little bit flexible as the day goes on and then we do a half price blitz for the last hour. This is a one day deal. I've got to have this house empty Sunday. So it's it is full of good stuff. It's a really cool sale. Even though it's a moving sale, when we came in the first time, there was such great stuff in here. We knew we there, she couldn't help but leave us cool stuff behind. This lady is an artist. She collected antiques. She's a folk artist. She collected folk art. She had a booth at Nostalgia. There's crafting supplies here. There's booth supplies. This is a cool house. Let's go in and uh, let the house speak for itself here. So we come in. I'm uh, going to apologize. We've only had two days in here and it's already night. So uh, it's a little bit dark as we go through the house. But we've got a bunch of really cool primitive quilts. And, and as I turn the corner here, there's a great primitive uh, long, tall cabinet here with two doors. I'm going to swing back across where I walked in. I've got one of the log benches here. That's a great piece. There's one of about a zillion baskets in here. I'm going to step down. We'll go through into the living room here. There's a whole host of baskets. I'll uh, just just great fun baskets most of them in great condition i've got a nice pair of chairs here I've got this really cool white pillar more baskets on the wall I've got a couch it's got tack quilts on it there's great pillows all through this house here's a nice primitive chair primitive stool more baskets there's an the old toolbox turned into a flower pot how about this folk art for you a table made out of cigar boxes more cool baskets the rolling wine cart utility cart this table my clients father made for her decades decades ago it's solid as a rock big old two board pine uh, a three board pine top long seven and a half foot uh, table there's an 18 drawer chest over there uh, got another really pretty cool chair here so as you can see we're already into some good stuff here i'm going to walk into the kitchen there's a good assortment of handy dandy kitchen stuff some retro some just what you would want to use every day uh, she was one of these people that hated to have uh, you know two of anything so you got if you ever wanted to have like 50 different wine glasses this is the sale to be at I've got a nice thick pine table with four bent wood chairs going with it white china all kinds of white china partial sets full sets here are a few actually matching wine glasses in there so you've got that going on and then over here we found a bunch of different interesting plates again just a variety of really fun different items in the kitchen and dining area now we're going to cruise down in here the living room is a really dynamite space there's a trestle table right out here in the middle we've got antique chairs on both sides of it you can start to see the primitives kicking in here on the table and as we go around the room there's a really pretty set of china here this is Meekin india tree check it out online for a really good picture uh, there's one of her art pieces here it's a, a box with adam and eve painted on it i got another really pretty rocker here. There's a great uh, little uh, swinging sign holder there. A bench with an old piece of um, uh, carpet on it. I come out here into the sunroom. We've got more baskets. This has got to be just the coolest piece in the house. And if you're talking about primitives and antiques, this is the two uh, four-door. I call it a china cabinet or a cupboard. She kept china in it. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna zip up here and just close the doors for you. You can also see that beautiful redware china inside, which is beautiful. There's the doors. It's, you know, it's been painted a bunch of different times in its life. It's got the little crenellated top up there. I mean, this piece is a knockout. She paid a ton for it, and uh, we're not asking all that much for uh, the caliber of what you're getting here. So you've got a matched pair of wicker chairs. You have about a, a, a bear rug that's not a real bear, which is just kind of cool. Uh, here's a piece of really cool. Uh, uh, it's kind of uh, almost quilt work, but it's unfinished. And then you've got one of those newer style plastic wicker chairs in here as well. Primitive uh, table made out of, uh, you know, uh, little pieces of wood, birch wood. Outside there's a grill and a patio set. You can see those pictures on the video online. More primitives here. You got that cool little birdhouse or little shadow box there. A neat round chair with the cane bottom all across the top of the mantelpiece. Primitive birds, cruel work, uh, cross stitch. You've got primitive dolls, other little doodads here. It's pretty awesome. Now, this lady loved her book. She had a great reference library for cooking, 
for folk art, for antiques, for primitives. And this, I'm just telling you, this is a great reference library of all kind of different materials. Most of them is our standard $3 for a cookbook, two for a hardback, dollar for a paperback. I found a few first editions. That's the only thing we marked up. Okay, I'm headed to the garage. Got to flip the light back on here. It's a little dim since I said it, like I said, it's night. She did a lot of crafts, as I mentioned. So uh, if we can get any sort of viewing in here, we've got all this garage shelving and all of the tools and parts and pieces of things that she used to make cool things out of are in here. I'm talking about clamps, screwdrivers, drills. I've got gardening stuff. Here's your air compressor. Here's your uh, couple of file cabinets. Two different craftsmen, two tier, uh, you know, uh, tool chests on cabinet bases. Uh, we had to unpack a whole ton of totes, so we got you a bunch of totes in here. And uh, over here are screwdrivers, bolts, drills. There must be five different uh, um, socket sets in here. Over here, I've got all the every kind of clamp, drill, snipper, pliers, hammers, wrenches, everything you might want. All the little parts and pieces that you would use to make cool stuff. And then there's a whole run here of totes and totes full of wood that she used there either to cut from or she's got her patterns are in here and we got more baskets yada yada all the paint you want two cans for a dollar on and on okay i'm going to run up the stairs and we'll see the rest of the okay here we are at the top of the stairs and one of the things i didn't mention about my client is that she's totally the coolest dresser i've ever met i showed up she's 80 years old she's got uh knee high or thigh high boots about 50 silver bangles uh the coolest uh, tassel clothing on so we're in her bedroom we're going to see the closet it is knockout the closing in here are amazing but you can see i've got another rocker primitive table this was her headboard a uh, great looking bed you've got interesting pillows all through the house now we're getting into some of the primitive um linens and as and clothing got a bunch of really cool stuff in here here's a great just massively cool uh pine chest now we go into the to her bathroom here and again apologize for the darkness but this is a world-class collection of shell art now you don't normally associate world-class with shell art it's a little more kitschy than most people you know usually think of for world class but this thing is awesome she's got some of everything and they're all for for a, a art form that's not especially tasteful she's got a lot of really tasteful pieces so it's pretty cool and uh we're going to be asking to sell that collection intact at the beginning but if we need to during the day we'll break it up so here we've got scarves ties we're going to have some jewelry outside we've got purses got some you know makeup type things a lot more purses here now we're aiming into the main closet let me just go around the top first because it's just you get a flavor of what's in the hangers when you see the shoes the clogs look at these awesome boots hats galore you get a, a sense of this lady's taste and her husband's cool taste just from the, the stuff on top of the shelf. And if I, I'm trying to back up in here, you're just going to get a sense of volume. There's quite a lot to choose from here. It actually crosses several sizes. And if I aim down at the floor, there's more boots and shoes here. And I've got them spread out in other rooms as well. So come to this sale for clothing and come for the housewares. There's a lot of cool stuff or just, you know, everyday good stuff in here. For instance, coming into your office space, computer monitor, folding tables, radios, you know, all your paper, your gift wrapping, your uh, good racks, your vacuum cleaner, your ironing board, filing cabinets, interesting books. You've got, you know, shredder, sleeping bag, luggage, all that kind of normal stuff that's in this house too. And now we're going down the hall. Uh, I'm going to save the best room for last. Oh, quick peek in the bathroom. I mentioned lots of linens and towels. We've got a lot of nice quality stuff here. Uh, give me a flip around the hallway here. Uh, the whole linen closet is full of good quality, you know, really high lin um, thread count linens. Good stuff in here. Got a good bookshelf here on the end of the hallway. And the guest bedroom, there's a great, you just need a, you need a good full-size mattress set. This is the one to come snag. It's in great shape pillows uh, we got primitive boxes this is one of my favorite this chest with mirror is gorgeous you can see more cool clothes around here and this closet if I spin around mostly full of sweaters is pretty cool and you can see here on the door uh, some other uh, just really cool pieces that she's got now we'll go into her crafting room then I'm gonna be selling this futon frame with the futon 
and look at the pillows on this thing they're made out of oriental carpet i just think they rock maybe they might have been camel bags or something but they are cool okay now backing up here i'm in our crafting corner all the stuff and doodads that you need to make there's everything from mod podge paper clips you know paint brushes uh, uh there's boxes and boxes of paper we've got three or four boxes like these full of doodads and things that you need to assemble glue etc we got a whole bunch of cigar boxes some are full of those little things some of them are empty these cigar boxes here were like little shadow boxes that she started but didn't finish there's a one of her themes that she did in folk art was religious so there's a bunch of religious pieces in here and again i got more folk art i'm sorry i got more library more reference and tons and tons of magazines because she did a lot of um of collage type things i've got more shelvings the bookshelves you just saw the shelves in the closet all this will be for sale and there's a cool little table here in the corner all right guys that's a quick run through this house again blowout rules apply come early come after church in the middle of the day <coughs> the hours are 10 to 4 you just want to get here you want to do some shopping you know come early for the knockout pieces that there's only one of that table the trestle table the cabinet out there uh in the uh in the sunroom wicker furniture come for the housewares in the middle of the day come at the end of the day if you're a dealer the stuff to to populate your booth with or or just build your booth because she's got a lot of display items that you might want out in the garage as well tools and stuff for guys here on and on it goes so come on out folks sunday may 25th 10 to 4 address will be published shortly thanks so much